I'm Phil, I'm a print op here at Romax and uh, today I'm being interviewed by our marketing department who have uh, deemed to come down to the boiler room from the bridge. And how long have you worked at Romax then? Uh, quite recently, only since March of this year. But you've been in printing for, dare we ask, a number of years? Since I left college, so that was uh, 18. That can be your dream job. Uh, for me in the music, I do a, like a podcast every week, so I think I'll probably like on the turn of that more, something, something music based, that, that would yeah, definitely. Would you like to tell us the name of this uh, webcast, or podcast? As, as you've asked, yeah, it's called uh, The Paranoid Squirrel. The what, sorry? The Paranoid Squirrel. Paranoid Squirrel. Dot com. Dot com, we should we'll, we'll look out for that. Um, setting up a job now, just going to be uh, checking it, and then I'm going to be going you know, with Simon or Charlie just to make sure that I've mapped it to the right data and uh, what I'm printing will be actually what the customer wants. Right, I've just sent over to the printer um, some proofs, so we'll go and have a look, get them going, see what it looks like. Now we've had our speculation on this, but um, if there was to be a movie of your life, who would play the leading role? Val Kilmer. Well, going back to Romax just slightly, um, we have lots of equipment here at Romax. What would you say was your favourite bit of kit in the entire company? Uh, the Mac, to be honest, because uh, I started graphic design. But like, yeah, for the, for the, for the out here, yeah, the Mac. They are good pieces of kit. Yeah. Inside the department, which is the print department, but you've got five types of mono printers. Which of those would you say would be the best one? Um, the Nevera, the larger one. And uh, how many uh, sheets per hour can that print? Uh, it's about 6,000. Yep. Double side, single side? That, that's single side, you know. Right, back to you. Favourite TV show? Dallas. Dallas? Yeah. Bobby wakes up in the shower? No, they're just back on CBS drama. They've just come to that bit. Actually, at the moment, as we speak, that season has just ended. What, so he's coming back to life yeah, in the shower? Yeah. Pam has just like, gone in, and oh, she's married Mark Grayson, and I thought it's in the shower. So. And you're reliving it now? Yeah. The ultimate question then, Phil, do you have an eye shot JR mug? No, but my, uh, my, my mother-in-law did. Could you still get a hold of it? No. Now, you've mentioned earlier on that your um, podcast, just remind us of the name again? Paranoid Squirrel. Paranoidsquirrel.com. Um, you obviously play a lot of music on that, so you must. This must have been a tough question for you. But which, or what rather, is your favourite album? Uh, that's not actually. Um, favourite album of all time is an album called Parts Unknown by a band called The Hydromatics. If you were to be stuck on a desert island, who would you like to be stuck on that desert island with? Kylie Minogue. That's a very definite answer there. How does your wife feel about you being stuck on the island? I'm married to Kylie Minogue. Oh well then, she can't be bothered then. <laughs> but if you could time travel, would you go back in time to a particular place? Probably early 60s. Beatles. See the Beatles in Canon. That would be your ultimate moment? Yeah, I think so, yeah. Excellent. What's the most exciting thing about working for Romax? It excites me. I suppose just getting the job finished on time, right? I suppose at a, a personal level, you know, that, that pleases me. Last question. What would you say to a client or potential clients of Romax about us? They provide food for my wife and my daughter. And use, them, use them wisely and use them well. Phil, thank you very much. We appreciate your time. Thank you.